So, okay, we'll open the meeting at 6.10. Um, calling the meeting to order. Adjustments to the select board agenda. Anybody? Oh, good. Okay. So I'd like to talk about open meeting law uh -huh. and also talk about uh, my duties, or my volunteer duties, to post meeting minutes on the town website. Okay. I'd just like to add that to the agenda whenever the board feels the time okay. is all right to talk about that. Okay. Okay, so we can talk about that when we talk about the rest of your stuff, I guess. Okay. Uh, we've approved most of the bills and the payroll orders. We've approved the minutes from the November 13 meeting. Any public comment? No public, no comment. Okay. Town clerk report. See, we're right on time. <laughs> <laughs> I had received an email from Dave Brosha. He is the head maintenance person for OSSU now, uh -huh. who took Larry Eldred's position. Uh -huh. And he wanted to know who was responsible for the maintenance of this room. Uh -huh. And when I looked through the lease, it looks like the school is responsible, the annex is maintained by the school district. Because what they want to do is they want to rip up this carpet mm. and put down vinyl tiles, something mm -hmm. that's much easier to clean. Mm -hmm. And from me reading this, and I past to past Brandy also, it's the school's responsibility. Sounds clear. <laughs> okay, did either one of you want to look at this lease? I've read it before. We have um, a, we've got a copy. I'd be happy to look again, sure. Thank I you. highlighted the section where I think it's... Hmm. School district. Yep. Yeah? pretty clear to me. <laughs> I mean, when they do things like, you know, put up new shades and stuff, they don't come and ask yeah. us. So, Are they wanting the town to share the cost? Is that Although what we know? No, he just wanted to make it clear in his own mind whose responsibility mm -hmm. it was. Oh, okay. Do you want the stack, Robin? Yep, I'll keep it with this. Although it looks like the fire alarm may be finished, or at least there's no wires hanging out like there were a few days ago. Oh, good deal. Yeah. I don't know whether it's all hooked up yet, but... We could start a fire and see what happens. Yeah. You got, <laughs> you got your lighter with you? No. <laughs> and Hold the it up lift there. at the office oh. has been inspected and it's passed inspection. Yay. And within there, they also sent a form where we can ask for an inspection agreement for either one year or three years, mm -hmm. and the cost will stay the same at $150. So Are I opted for the three years. $150 for three years? or 100 for each of the year. three years. Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> it didn't say how much it would go up if we didn't. Okay. 150. And that is the same company that's been doing the inspections? Yes. Not the company that was doing the maintenance. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. And then the next thing I have is the town report. Mm -hmm. I just want to remind everybody that last year we passed an article stating that town meeting will be the Saturday before yeah. town meeting day. So which will be February 24th. Yeah. That's good to remind people. Which means stuff needs to be in sooner. Well, a few days, yeah. 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 Okay. And the majority of the appropriations for the nonprofits those are coming in very steadily. Okay. okay. And I think that's what I have for tonight. Um, okay. Have you heard back or did you have any contact information for the people on the Kipps Road? 
That's the only name we have on it. <laughs> it is... Brian Barber mm -hmm. and Colin Cole. Brian? Okay. Did they leave any phone number or anything? I have the phone number at the office on a different <laughs> piece of paper. Okay. Yep. So they expect to hear back from us at first? Yep. Okay. I think you'll have to come to a meeting or two about that. Are you planning to call them, Diana, or mm -hmm. should, should one of us reach out? Gone. Okay. I know where it is. Yeah. Okay. Town Treasurer's report. Mm -hmm. Income over the last two weeks, cash receipts took in $6,390.67. That was delinquent taxes, copies, land postings, recording, vault fees, zoning, etc. Um, expenses over the last two weeks, payroll $9,930.18. Accounts payable was $45,315.77. Over the last two weeks, I transferred from the money market to the checking two million ten thousand even. Mm. Glad we had so much in the money market. <laughs> We've had for long. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, it, it's not there any longer. <laughs> you spent it as long as you transferred it. Um, what are the goodies? Hmm. Any questions? Still waiting on VLCT to finalize, finish up the claim. Um. I noticed that in the second claim that I didn't follow up and get a pick, uh, copy of, but I do. I did notice that the amount was the same as the first one. Oh yeah, they hadn't adjusted. They hadn't it done the floor thing or Correct. any of the any of the uh, furnishings, the whatever was lost from down there. You have a record of that. Yes, we have a list. Yeah, they have a list. Yeah. Oh, you've given it to them. Yep. Because they didn't put it on here. They did not. So we can ask if we want a portion up front. They can do a portion. I mm -hmm. would just like it finalized, did and done, but um, they still haven't gotten back after I had sent the quote for um, just the sheetrock and stuff. For the what? Establishing the sheetrock and downstairs, just okay. refixing. Well, they came up with their own their own numbers on that. Right. So, so. we're still waiting. Of course, they're the middleman. BLC yeah, right. The adjuster colonial. has to, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Randy, did I understand it correctly that they're going to pay 80% up front, and then once they get contractor receipts for the work, they'll pay the other 20? Correct. Okay. So we can start again, it's money up front, mm -hmm. which, yeah. So if we don't, you know, how, if, if we buy something that's less than what they uh, expected on their cost estimate do we know this is my first rodeo okay. with this one <laughs> yeah uh, okay so i don't know whether we can just take that if we save money on one thing can we spend it on something else that's not on the list I, according I, to when i talk to them i think you can since you own it outright you can just take a if you come up with a settlement you can just take the settlement and then do what you want with it really yeah. i asked them about our claim and they said the same thing yeah once we settle which who knows when that's going to be okay 
I, yeah, I did get a take a make, make a copy of, of something that came from VLCT that sounded like you know they were saying yeah put in for whatever whatever you think if, if they want to deny any of it they can mm -hmm. for example if we want to put in for new electrical outlets mm -hmm. you know or new lighting or something like that they say no <laughs> they say no but okay. So we're still waiting on that. All appropriations have been paid and transferred. That means that the library, the cemetery, um, mm. have their money. And the fire department? As payments go. <laughs> yeah, I think our we're already locked January. into. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so the highway has their money. Mm -hmm. um, So the due to, due from, last page on your financial statements. FEMA is now $162,615.39. That's how much? We have spent already on FEMA. Oh, okay. Well. So minus payroll. <laughs> it's not included within that. Yeah. So that number we can anticipate to be reimbursed. What is it? Eighty-seven point five percent. Eighty-seven point five. Okay. Or more. Or more. <laughs> so it does seem like if our. Um, road crew spent all their summer on FEMA reimbursable stuff that we might come out ahead on that line item. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And the health insurance, have you found out any more about that? <laughs> it's been a nightmare. Oh. The phone mm -hmm. system has been anyway. Um, all I have comparison is Blue Cross Blue Shield, and Blue Cross Blue Shield is more expensive. That's the only thing you have to compare to what we already MVP. have? MVP. Yep. Do you expect, are there any others? Um, there's different plans. Yeah. There's different, uh, oh. I mean, if I wanted to go on to Health Connect, and, mm. but don't, whatever you see, do not call <laughs> or email your contact to any insurance company. <laughs> They won't stop calling now. <laughs> so there's that phone, that and number on TV it. that you can call and get all your answers, right? Yeah. 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 Really? <laughs> when I try to call, I can't even go through. Yeah. There's a there's yeah. There's one named Amy who used yeah. to call me a couple times a day. I don't know what happened to her. But I haven't heard from her for a while. Okay. Still pending, but so you'll talk that over with the guys, right, before you make any decision. We just have the two of them on health insurance? There's two. Yeah. yeah. The, their cost is going up and well, ours And the towns is too. Yep. yep. But Blue Cross Blue Shield is almost double. Really? Double what? Yeah, so. Double all the same plan. Double MVP? It's, it's much more costlier wow. to it would be to the town and wow. to mm -hmm. so you guys are keeping track of that what's that you're keeping track of that the health insurance uh has she shared any of that with you had a very brief conversation oh, about okay. it that something was happening okay. but their rates go up every year yeah, yeah. Like, I know. Right? Have looked at mm -hmm. like everything else yeah. yeah what's that have we looked at cigna at all no, I have not. Sigma is a, a company that we, I used to have in Callis uh, oh. when we were trying, when this happened there, mm -hmm. the rates started going up. We looked at Sigma and they were cheaper. Mm. Just another option, I don't know. Mm. I know our state employees portion is going up with 14% or something like that. And the cost of living 
increase is only 3% maybe, so we'll talk about that when we do our budgeting. And don't calculate. Huh? No. And don't calculate. <laughs> it doesn't really. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so, Alfie, I see they're making a mess downtown here. Yes. I wonder whether you could plow a, a, the snow a, that's of the store building there, all the snow that builds up. If, could you keep that area plowed out so they can park over on the side of the building while the mess is going on downtown? Uh, sure. I don't know where you would put it. As long it, as their vehicles aren't there. Yeah. Well, I mean, right, yeah, they still, to, as of today, they were still parking right in front. Yeah. But if you clear that out, and I'll suggest that they park by the side, the owner said he's not going to be around for a while. As long um, as there's no snow on the road. I was going to say, you're going to have to be careful with that, because that snow comes off that right. road, and if it damages it, right. and the town suggests yeah. that they park well, there, they the can town also be park, responsible. But they could park there. Back by the garage too. That would be not not as steep of a roof. I mean, snow does come off, but it's not like a big. Oh yeah, it is. Trust me, I've the, shoveled it. Really? Like, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like do the guys who work on that stuff have to bring their cars to the site and park somewhere? Yeah, there's going to be some, some challenges. I was there. Yeah. Yeah. Challenges. Yeah. yeah. I've got the big boss's contact information, so if it keeps being a problem, we can talk. They, they seem, I had a meeting and talked to the boss today. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, I think they're just starting, so they yeah. haven't got It's a little stuff disorganized. Yeah. And they were yeah. trying to cut trees mm -hmm. and dig holes today. Change, yeah. mm -hmm. right. Move a bunch of equipment around. They had trailers, and mm. it's going to be a not fun for any of us to uh, mm. I mean, we could we could on the on the Cabot Road side, on the park side, I mm -hmm. could widen that a little That's bit. That's probably a better choice. That would that yeah. would allow for four or five mm -hmm. cars to park. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, but it's more I don't want to plow it and then they don't use it. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't want to do much of work if they're not yeah. gonna use it. So mm -hmm. maybe we should have contact with I can give you the, with the boss and uh, <coughs> see what his flavor is. Mm -hmm. If need be, they can always park up to the blue garage. The blue garage. Mom's garage. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. <coughs> yeah. I mean, if they're going to have a lot of cars around, they will be responsible for plowing it, or somebody will be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they would be able to get quite a few cars in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, Paul, maybe if you want to either, either contact him and get with me or give me his I'll give you his number before I leave today. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I can just reach yeah, out to him. And just call him. And I, I think Cabot Road's a good idea just to have him. Right. They were very sort receptive. Of. They were blocking up the firehouse, and we had a call today, and I asked them to move. And they moved yeah, and they, they, they're, they're going to be right there. It's not like they're yeah. parking and going somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think the, the Cabot Road would be closer for them. Yeah. You know, the yeah. flaggers, they're going to mm -hmm. park their car, and then they got to be moving mm -hmm. around. So. Mm -hmm. Um, and it wouldn't wouldn't affect us mm -hmm. dramatically um, if it was parked in there. Park Tried to have all the snow canceled for the next month, but it didn't seem to take. Yeah. No, they must have had a bad start. It was get the day pretty memo. snowy this morning. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> expected this <laughs> snowstorm. Open the door at 2 a.m. and we got called out. I'm like, well, this, this stinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The trees and the road. Like, Jeez. Yeah. Well, that was supposed to be rain. Uh huh. Yeah, it was pretty thick. Yeah, really. Called for rain. Mm -hmm. I was some surprise when I opened my garage. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. uh. Sometimes they get it wrong. It's terrible. A lot of times they get it wrong. <laughs> okay. Now I remember that back in the late winter, I think we signed a an agreement with West Woodbury, when that was only for like up until July of 2023 and there was another one for this year that we didn't sign at the time for some reason do you know is that well there hasn't been one released i emailed him today and to cc everybody in it so as soon as i hear something from him you guys oh, will hear oh from uh Ar 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 yes what's his name yeah. there dave yeah. dave Upson, yeah yeah, we entered a contract with him 
midway through the year. Right. That way it was only a partial. Yeah. That so then, but I, th I thought there was right. another one that was attached that was with it, and we just didn't sign it because it was no, I think it's too just early. time for okay. a renewal. Just a, a new, yeah. Whether we make that contract or he does, whichever. Yeah. Yeah, usually they supply me with I think the contract they do. Yeah. and the invoice, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. I have not heard anything about uh, a design. Yeah, okay. I did, I'm did. i pretty sure it was expected by the end of the year. So I was just thinking we could just yeah. to follow yeah, up be, on it. So. It would be nice to have that and know what it's done. Yeah. Um, do you want me to harass him a little no, bit? No, Brandy sent an, an email. And then I sent one just explaining that, you know, to him that we were just wanting to check because it was, we were pretty sure it was going to be due by the end of the year and we just wanted a status report so we don't need to yeah. do anything else. Right. He, okay. he responded that he was out of the office until the 1st, so. Okay. He's got another month. So how'd you do over on the county road extension? Uh, haven't really done much of anything there actually mm -hmm. haven't really had time uh, been using my manpower on getting the sand pile up yeah so most of the time it's been there uh, the excavator's there on site and um, was hoping to be there a lot of time this week but <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden we got it's a lot awesome, of snow yeah. so that's mm -hmm. going to slow things down a bit but, um, I did secure a whole bunch of material for that site. Mm. Uh, I just got to truck it mm. and store it. Mm. I also have... There's no I'll place see, over near there where you can store it? There is. I got permission from Gravels, which is the house right at the bottom on Route 14. Uh, they said I could stage material there. So right at the bottom of... Well, on the bottom of... Oh, the, okay. Oh, okay, that little road. yellow house. Yeah, okay. Right, right, oh, nice. right okay. off of 14. Yep. Um, I tried to get material from the culvert in East Callis from the state, mm. but they brought it somewhere else. They, I don't know if they thought it was too far to truck it or not, but <laughs> I was hoping they would just bring it up there yeah. for us and, yeah. and stage it and we'd mm -hmm. have it, but that didn't mm -hmm. work out. But this other option is available, and if we get some decent weather, mm -hmm. I'm going to pursue that and mm -hmm. just stage it. I mean, we can put a bunch there. I can also put some on the corner on uh, Dog Pond Road. There's a place there that we can store it uh, in the event that we have a minor winter and we can want to deal with that. Or if not, we can have it in the spring and mm -hmm. finish up. So you're not going to keep that odor all winter, right? No. No, I mean it. I know you probably want it. Well, I'd like you to buy it, really. <laughs> but that's probably not in the uh, Maybe not this year. No. But no, it's uh, once I know that the weather is set in, mm. it's going to go back. Mm. Um, and, you know, after this morning, it's it's setting in. But mm. <laughs> I'm going to try, I'm gonna try mm. this week and next. To at least get that road <coughs> passable mm -hmm. to a to oh. a truck or a, a minimum a snow machine, some you know, oh. to get it safe mm -hmm. and get the water back in the brook where it's supposed to be. So still, still on the on that um, dream of getting it done. I also have to get railings on uh, Carol Ray's bridge which won't take long, but mm -hmm. uh, it's still on the agenda. But like I said, the last week or so, a couple of weeks, it's been, mm -hmm. been focusing on the sand pile, trying to get that done. Because gravels don't want to balance. They want us to use it all up, what we've paid for. By the end of next month? By the close of the year, oh. yeah. Yeah, so that's my... That's my hustle there. We're mm -hmm. close. We're like mm -hmm. 300 yards left mm -hmm. or something like that. We're very close. Mm -hmm. So a couple more days of hauling, we'll have it. Mm -hmm. 
when I was the Timmy's truck was down for two or three weeks. That really Whoa. hurt. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Which truck is that? The older of the That's the one that we're trading. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. So it was at the shop and uh -huh. you'll see an invoice for that. And yeah, I think I did see one day. Not good, yeah. yeah. But it was due, it was also due for inspection. Mm -hmm. So some of that work was was uh, mm -hmm. to get it inspected. Yeah, I wouldn't want to trade in a truck that's not inspected. Well, we don't want to. <laughs> we don't want to have a truck on the road that's not. Inspected. Well, yeah, that's more important. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would only take an accident, and then we'd, yeah, we'd oh be god, on the hook. So yeah. It's better to spend money and get it right. Um, other than that, unless there's questions, I don't have much to report. Your um, guys used to, the, I'm thinking about plowing some comments I heard. Um, they go right down the middle of the road now instead of going one side and then the other side? Is we that haven't put the wings on yet. Oh. Because oh, okay. the roads are still soft. Oh, okay. And so we don't like to spread the, put the gravel out in the ditches. Uh -huh. But we're putting them on. Okay. One, one of them All right. on this afternoon. Okay. When we got done plowing. Okay, so that's why. Okay, it looks different. Yeah. I mean, you get away with that <coughs> with one or two inch storms, but when you have a eight inch storm mm -hmm. like this morning or a foot, mm -hmm. it's not as mm -hmm. easy to get along with. So Thank we'll you. be putting wings on, and uh, that complaint will go away. Maybe. Right. They'll find something else. Maybe. Did you? I said maybe. <laughs> a gentleman had called the office. Of, he was up in the ditch up on Cabot Road? Did he get a hold yeah, of you? Yeah, he didn't he was get just a hold worried. of me. He talked to Timmy. Okay, he was just worried about how long, because he wasn't yeah. able to find anybody to pull it out yet. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I gave him a couple of names. He called back and wanted to know where his car was. The record. <laughs> like, you're asking me where your car is? It's <laughs> but he needed, yeah. <laughs> he needed, uh He needed some land markers. Mm. So we could tell yeah, cause the wrecker where to go. You know, the lights on this morning, but clearly the battery's dead. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 She blends right in because it's. Yeah, well, it sounded, from the message I got, it sounded like he went off the road and there was damages to his car. Because he was asking for. There a, was a, a tree fell across the road. Oh, and he ran into it. And he couldn't stop. And it mm. spun him. Jimmy yeah. was down there and Jimmy moved the tree with. Our tractor, mm. um, but there was a tree across the road. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. And so I spun him into the ditch, and there's kind of boulders on that side. So mm. he said one tire it got hit hard. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I've told my guys it's it's okay to pull them if it looks safe. But if it's if it looks like there's already damage done, or pulling yeah, it is going to cause more damage, it. then we yeah. don't do that. No. But it's, you know, it comes to a judgment. Sometimes there's mm -hmm. a car in the road blocking our ability to go through. Right, right. Then the car has to go. We have to, mm -hmm. we have to plow, mm -hmm. you know, we have to get through. Mm -hmm. So I usually have the guys use their judgment or I'll go myself and, and uh, make that call. Mm -hmm. But this one, it sounded like it was disabled, like there was damages already to his car, so mm -hmm. it needed to go on a, on a flatbed anyway, so I just told him I couldn't help him with it. Hmm. So, anything else from you? you got all uh, your FEMA work wrapped? Oh, how, how did you do with the uh, railing on the rail trail? Um, Steve Gray. I got a hold of Steve Gray, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I will keep trying. Okay. I don't know if he's been out of town. Do you need a, you need a phone number? Because I happen to have a uh, Yeah, that would be him. 456. I just opened to that page. It's amazing. 456-8862. Okay. When did the trails open? <coughs> Is it December 15th? If there's snow, I think. If there's snow, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and now that the ground's freezing, it's going to be more of a challenge to get. But I mean, even if we can't, if he doesn't can't come up with something, I'll go put some at least caution tape with 
green mm -hmm. steaks or something, just mm -hmm. something to, uh, you know, illuminate it, mm -hmm. illuminate it, so that they can see it at least. But I'll give him, I'll get a hold of him and uh, see what he has to offer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything from you? I got nothing. Good. <laughs> 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 uh, Greg was in today mm -hmm. just uh, to say hi. He no. said he's available. But, uh, he's still staying on his vacation, using up his time. But he said if I got in a bind, that he's, mm -hmm. he's available. Next week he'll be back? I believe it, yeah. 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 He's got a doctor's appointment one day next mm -hmm. week. Uh, so he'll be in and out, and then January he goes to, he retires. Part and time, then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said he still... On call. Still would be able to work like 20 hours or mm -hmm. whatever his limit is mm -hmm. for retirement. So mm -hmm. we'll use him where we can, and if we don't need him, we don't need him. Is Tim struck back? Yes. Oh, good. Tim, yeah, we're, we're full, full head of steam at this point. Mm -hmm. I even have the the little six wheel truck is up and running. What's that? The low pro? No, that's no, the, oh, the oh, oh the five fifty. No, the, no. The other one, the one that, the one that rolled over. Chloride. The 99 dump truck. Ninety nine. I don't know what it is. The one that you rebuilt from the, the one we put the okay. motor in out yeah. of the rollover. Okay. Yes. All right. I mean, that's just yeah. for uh, absolute emergency. Yeah. If yeah. we don't have a truck that will go, mm -hmm. we'll get that. We'll at least put sand on. Oh. And uh, I guess you could plow with it, but mm -hmm. it's more just a it's emergency. Yeah. It's like, good. Yeah. We received the Gorman contract, um, but there's different, yeah. Greg Parker is the one who signed off on it last year, or in last year, 2019, signed off on it, but um, is there a piece of equipment that we have from the Gorman that they let us use? It's, yeah. Well, it's, it's the transfer tank, the application tank, which goes in the back of the truck and then we use that to spray the chloride on the roads. That when that contract was put together, it was they would give you the tank if you bought a certain number of gallons. We've expired. We've expired that a number of gallons. So now the tank is ours. It belongs to us. That's all that contract is saying. Okay. No. It's just saying okay. that because the company was okay. bought out by a new company, mm -hmm. and the CEOs want everything pretty pretty. So that's all that is. It's just it's okay. just sign they're signing over that equipment to us, so it's ours. The agreement also provided that the town would purchase specific amounts of liquid calcium from Gorman annually, as noted. In the agreement, the town had the option to purchase the equipment for thirty five hundred after the town purchased twenty seven thousand gallons of such liquid chloride. However, after the town purchased seventy thousand dollars or seventy thousand gallons Jared Gorman transferred title of the equipment to the town and the town accepted such title. I am closing a bill of sale confirming this transfer. So it's no, it's no cost to us, it's just, it's just transferring ownership. You want to sign it? resides on the new one, or it doesn't, the 550? It goes in the back of 550, wasn't it? The one? No. No. No, that's too heavy for that. It goes in the, the six wheeler that I just mentioned. It's mm. a thousand gallon tank with a pump and a T bar that's that spread it sprays out of. Um, it's pretty shot. It's really not much left to it. Mm. After six years of chloride, it's really gotcha. not much. Which is, you know, something we have to be mm. thinking about also. You want to You're sign that? Repairing or replacing. Do you also do like sand? I, what am I trying to say? Salt? Just salt. Spreading mm -hmm. salt like you spread Can sand? You like no. Uh, we use the 550 for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's All right. got a little V box. Okay. 
Yeah, and that's the one that I mentioned last meeting oh, okay. that I want to replace. All right, okay. So you do solid and you do chloride. Uh, no, two no. different trucks. Huh? Two di that's, those are two different trucks. Right, yeah, but I mean you use yes. salt some places and chloride well, some Well, chloride places. is in the summertime. Oh, dust, of course. Dust oh, of course. Right. Salt right. is winter for yeah. ice control. Okay, all right. Oh. Jeez. I'm learning stuff I know every month. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You guys have any more questions for Alfie? Um, as far as that calcium tank, where would you get bits for that? Who would you? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I don't know that there's a supplier. It's any of the ones that I've dealt with has come right from the the product supplier, okay. Gorman Brothers or Allstates. So if that one it, uh, it leaks or something, we would probably get a similar deal for continuing to buy. Well, I know Gorman told me that they don't do that anymore. Oh, that well, that deal is, is not available anymore. Oh. Um, huh. So it's something we can check into. We got some time. You know, we need it in the in the spring when we start mm -hmm. doing our spring grading, but okay. uh, until then we're in good shape. Okay. But we should keep that in mind for mm -hmm. for budgeting. I want to. Yeah. Okay. I guess we can move on to the Woodbury Volunteer Fire Department. Oh, we're right on time again. You guys are like bright on schedule. Clockwork. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a lot of changes. We're sort of status quo. Um, our FEMA, we have three FEMA projects. I got to sign those this week. Then I got to do the EEs afterwards. Mm. So that's, we have, don't have to have that done by Monday, but I got to sign the projects by Monday. What's EE? Uh, essential elements. Essential elements. EEIs. EEIs. Yeah. That's the one with they the 25 questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> we met with Michelle last week and. Uh, uh -huh got their projects and the budgets in. Mm -hmm. It's been a bit of a challenge because the League of Cities and Town has been a real pain in the neck to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, so I was in battle with them. They didn't respond to my emails for three weeks because we can't finalize our FEMA claim until we have a settlement from them. Really? <laughs> they essentially told me that it could be several more months before we see a settlement. Oh my. Because apparently I met with the Montpelier fire chief because they have a destroyed firehouse and a mm -hmm. fire truck. We love them. Um, and uh, he, he said that the way this works is all of the municipal building damages have to be pooled. And there's only like $5 million to pay the claim. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure where that 80% number came from, but it, the number she told me will be prorated based on spreading uh, it out. So the money goes around everybody. So I don't. You mean that oh, no, this was just money or your insurance? Of, of what they've given us for a total that we'd get back. So 15 grand, they could give us 80% of that. It wasn't, yeah. Yeah, your total settlement. So the, the, in the end, you're, you're probably going to get 70 or 80 potentially, huh. which for us is a big, I mean, why I'm upset with this, mm -hmm. picture your town office being destroyed like our building is, mm -hmm. and we're sitting here with no insulation. Mm -hmm. And they're just, I'm really, so mm. to that end, we're probably firing them. I've got a new insurance carrier. Mm. So that'll probably be in our budget this year because I just, this is unacceptable, mm. really unacceptable. If this was your house, mm. imagine being in your house in your five months. And you're like, oh, we don't know yeah. when you're going to. And they, you know, I just saw a memo today that said, yeah, you should go ahead and make your, Make your improvements, even if you don't have your final numbers yet. But you don't I have can't. that kind of deep well, pockets at the well, fire department. Well, we don't have money right now. We're probably going to exhaust our fuel budget in yeah. two months at the rate I mean, we're going. I've, I've got a contractor, and the insulation is there. Hopefully, he'll get here in the next yeah. couple of weeks to actually yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. um, trying to avoid having the guys do it because we're we're about to hit call two hundreds. We've been in doing fourteen mm -hmm. or fifteen runs a week. I don't uh, know why, but mm -hmm. it's been insanity. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, we're, we're kind of in limbo. And we're also, mm -hmm. uh, the problem with FEMA is right now our, our repairs are, um, uh, what's the word, what's the FEMA word? They're not permanent repairs, they're temporary, temporary repairs. No. Category B. Yes, we're category <laughs> B, temporary repairs. So I can't do any permanent yeah. repairs. Uh -huh. So like insulation is considered temporary mm -hmm. because if they end up paying for this, there's 
there's an element of kind of mixing insurance because our insurance claim is anywhere from 91 to 125 and then another 70 in contents. So it's a large number. Yeah. Um, and we they gave us 25 up front, but we're mm -hmm. way through that and I'm spending, mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm borrowing money from Peter to pay Paul at this mm -hmm. point because we just mm -hmm. don't have the funds. So um, that to get the building insulated and strapped is where we're gonna go. The furnace has been fixed. Mm -hmm. We had to pay for a new chimney. Mm -hmm. The weather ceiling we paid for. So anyway, so I don't know where that number lands. Mm -hmm. um, if FEMA, then we blend FEMA into all this because we have to because FEMA will pay the balance of what the insurance, whatever that number Whatever the difference is. is, yeah. So my dust off with Kim last week was, well, we don't need to know. FEMA doesn't need to know. And I said, well, we do need to know because I can't settle with FEMA until I settle with you. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that mess. Um, so the answer is I don't know. I'm really unhappy with the Vermont League of Cities and Towns. Yeah. Did you t tell them that you have 18 months to do your permanent repairs? Well, the, our conversation <laughs> needed Paul to get off the phone and take a breather. Okay. <laughs> because they were very rude. Yeah. Yeah. And I do know, I do know when my buttons have been pushed, I need to take a little walk. And there is a timeline for permanent repairs. Yeah. So if so, you're working around like that. Yeah. You might I wanted the yeah, slide board. They can't wait for that. You know, they, yeah. I just wanted the slide board to be aware that we yeah. probably, I contacted uh, Volunteer Firemen's Insurance Corporation, and they, oh. Oh. they don't jerk you around like this. I mean, oh. for, the league didn't. We had about seven thousand in damage to our pumpers last year mm -hmm. when the house burned up on. Uh, Dog Pond Road. Mm. That's a covered claim under the mm. uh, Volunteer Fireman's Insurance, oh. where Lee denied our claim. Mm -hmm. So, so there's oh. big benefits for us switching. Mm. It might be more expensive, but mm. I work in the insurance industry. To be sitting here five months is just completely mm. outrageous, and not to return. I mean, the other part that's upsetting: you send emails and phone calls. They don't. The lady got mm. really short with me because I just sent her quick emails and, hey, I really would appreciate an answer to my question. And I got this nasty, nasty. And I was like, wow, mm -hmm. to the point where I wrote back and the boss, Kelly, tried to smooth it over mm -hmm. and, and informed me that FEMA doesn't need to know this. And I'm like, well, yeah, they do need to know it. So that's what's going on there. It's, just, it's a mess. How and about so, the buyout? So <laughs> I met with those people again. Oh. Yeah, nothing is easy over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get a elevation certificate. The oh. insurance company has us out of the floodplain, but the parking lot is in the floodplain. Mm -hmm. Meeting with buyout, they said if we're not in the floodplain, which I don't think we are, unless they change it, mm -hmm. that lowers us down on the buyout and moves us up on the, on a potential. So the, the, the other option we have is doing a Cabot style temporary building somewhere, mm -hmm. which is really, I don't know how that would work. Mm -hmm. Or they may, um, I'm going through the process. I had an architect review the building. I got the town rec, the tax records from uh, uh, Robin. It, so I've, I've shown that we have more than 50% of the value of the building's damage. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of showing you two paths we're on. So one path is a buyout where they take the fair market value mm -hmm. the day before the flood mm -hmm. and they pay it. And the, that's a process the town would have to go through with us. The other process is the rebuilding back where we are with a new structure that's flood resilient where they would pay to tear that building down and rebuild a flood resilient building um, whatever that looks like really but we've always intended to use either the square footage of the annex yeah. or the square so, so, yeah. i don't know how that's we're sort of mm -hmm. working through that process right now so again all our repairs will probably stay temporary at this point just mm. because of the you understand it too which mm. is we can't do a permanent repair mm -hmm. till we settle all those. But things. as far as your whole, is you know your all, all your planning for all your buildings, you would like to have that stay there. Or? Would, yeah, but yeah, again, yeah. I'm just yeah. concerned about flooding. No. For real, so I just mm -hmm. I don't know. That's again, I could, you, if you think you're confused, I've been trying to wade through this. So so anyway, that's where that's at. It's like who knows. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get some insulation in the next couple weeks. It's just been yeah. terribly difficult because mm. there's no heat in the town hall. You got to go and try to warm it up. You get a medical call. You got to go in and clean your gear in this mm. cold building. So it's just mm. it's been a struggle. So hence, I'd rather not have the people, the firefighters, trying to play insulation persons. Yeah. Um, but if it, it may come to it, that I'm going to have to. So. Mm. Um, 
anyway, so that's where that's at. But we can so, but you can hire people if they're. Well, I've they're, hired a guy, uh, but the trying to get a contractor right now, uh, anyone yeah. in the contracting world yeah. is. So I've got a guy that's going to fit me in. Mm. We just haven't hasn't lined up. The insulation is there, the strapping is there, mm. so we're going to insulate mm. and strap it. Mm. So what is it? That the pink insulation, the paper. Back it's on it's it? uh it's that green. What is it called? Uh, Not rock saw. No. Rock saw. Yeah. yeah rock wool. Rock saw. Rock wool. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. So what do you cover that with? Well, event if well, maybe we put tin in there, but it, again, it may all have to come out because if yeah. FEMA says keep the building, they want spray foam that doesn't get wet. <sighs> if they tear the building down, we would probably do what Waterbury did: is they pour the foundation walls up like three and a half feet. Oh. So it's all concrete, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so nothing can get wet, and then you just oh. let the water. That's what Waterbury Fire Department does: mm -hmm. you just open all the doors, let the water run through the oh. place. <laughs> clean up the mud and huh. go back okay. to business. So, <laughs> anyway, so I just so, don't. You know, so the stuff. insulation could that be like a, when we took the stuff out of the fire station, we could. A, a volunteer yeah, we type could. thing. So stay tuned. That's what I'm saying. We might that might be coming. I'm going to give the guy one more chance to mm -hmm. do it to see if we can get it done. If not, that's probably what it's going to come down to mm -hmm. is a work be and just get it done because it'd be insulating and strapping. Mm -hmm. Then we wouldn't be heating the outdoors. <laughs> So anyway, that's where that's at. So mm -hmm. hopefully we'll get our EEIs done in the next few weeks. And then I think for, so the three projects of the station, uh, the cleanup of the parking lot and around the station, and our third project is the emergency response calls. So all the cleanup from downtown, that's going on your project Everything and not ours? Everything the town didn't do. So like Chuck helped oh. us with an excavator dump tray. I got all that. Yeah. He did this yeah. landscaping around the building to get the water to drain. Yeah. Cleaning up the mud around the building. Okay, so and we'll cleaning up the mud on the Cabot Road. That's or? on that's on the town. Yeah. We oh, didn't okay. Do any of that. Yeah. You gotta get that. Yeah, I think they got that. Oh, okay. So we did okay. the parking lot. Okay. Our, yeah. the, you know the town square. Okay. Lot. Yeah. We kind of took that under our. So. Uh -huh. And I want to say that's forty-one ish thousand dollars. Wow. And I think <laughs> uh, uh, we're doing the twenty-eight fourteen volunteer labor thing, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and I think the um, the emergency response calls were about twenty-five thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Again, it's subject to our, our submittals and the uh, view of some guys. So I have no idea when any money is going to show up. So that's where that's at. Okay. Um, the Culver mm. Project, I think, is going to have an impact on everybody. That's because mm. they've got to dig. If you see they're digging a temporary channel right across your front yard, right through there. I noticed that tonight when it came up. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't contact. Where it was going to go. Huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised because, I mean, they got, they had to get a sign off from fire department. They had to get a sign off from the town. I did do a sign off. Oh, you did do I one. did. Oh, yes. okay. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, and we've signed off. So what's happening, I spoke with the guy today. What they're installing now is the temporary culvert and the brook will be bypassing its mm -hmm. normal location. They are not going to build the temporary road. Oh. Cool. He doesn't want to do that. He said it's foolish. They're going to do half and half. Oh, okay. And they have one month. He didn't know if they're going to get it done or not. He okay. thought so. Mm -hmm. So they still are on our site and have destroyed our leach field because they've yeah. been blabbing excavators all over it. So, right. Um, I've got. Huh. I've got. I think I said, check your phone. I texted you. See if you actually yeah, got it. They didn't come through. Okay. It's. I'll. I'll give it to you. Yeah. I leave then. Yeah. Um, so so that's we, they've been okay so far their mm -hmm. day one they, they're mm -hmm. frustrated they wanted to start this a month ago and the state's been mm. jerking them around mm. but we had to go to bid now it's an emergency project here we are in, in the winter doing it so yeah. that's going to slow things down uh -huh. so we're going to have the traffic lights in one lane still oh okay. but no temporary bypass road mm. so I'm when they put the colored in it's going to have to be in yeah it'll more go in two and... sections yeah, yeah. so it's, it's going to be interesting to put a temporary colored in that mm. covers both lanes and then mm. put the permanent culvert in in two sections so anyway stay tuned mm. for that yeah really. um i'm starting world war with the state to try to because my estimate for the uh, septic design and installation is about forty thousand dollars so oh my I'm, god we don't have the money so i'm starting to bug them for money and i just the state of vermont is not good neighbors mm. so i just don't mm. know where that's mm. going to go for a while so yeah, well, you don't really need that until your building is built, right? Well, but I'm worried about getting that one to get our septic permitted because <laughs> yeah, we're supposed it would to start be nice. in May. Yeah, we're still yeah. on track for that to happen. I just don't know. Mm. Who knows? At this point, did I they don't. come? Did they move that bank that they were going to move? Well, now he's, if they're not going to move the road, they don't oh. need to move the bank. Oh darn! That would have helped us, but so yeah. the that was going to help us. Yeah. Gonna happen, so. so that's where we're at with that. Okay. Um, I think that handles FEMA and. 
culvert project. Okay. Um, Budget-wise, we probably uh, should come see you at the second meeting you have in December mm -hmm. just to give you our articles. Okay. Because we'll have our standard budget article, yep. the truck fund, okay. and the station, mm -hmm. fire station. Yeah, we'll probably have to have another one or two special so meetings. So you just let us know what budget. meeting we need to come. We'll present. Our budget gets approved at our next business meeting, yeah, okay. which is the first Tuesday in December. After that, we can meet with you and drop okay. that stuff off. Mm -hmm. um, we've already met with Callis, so mm -hmm. we just need to meet with you. Mm -hmm. I think that's that. Mm -hmm. Unless you got questions. No. I'm not nearly as confused as you because we, oh, have, really? skip, we have skip to do all that. <laughs> well, he's making it. He's confused. He's just not going <laughs> He could be the confused. It's a confusing process, is it not? It's a federal project. It's a federal process. Yeah. Yeah. Our problem is it's complicated. It, it, Cabot is simple because they don't have funding for their new building already. Oh. If we had no funding, yeah. they would be stepping up. But that stepping up is not always good because when I talked to I talked to a member of their select board last last week, um, it's really going to drive the cost of their building up because FEMA is going to mandate that they have sleeping quarters in the building and have a whole oh, bunch of other things. So yeah. one of the anyone who's dealt with federal funding okay. of anything, once you federally fund something, they have a lot of rules. So Did you say of, Cabot? Cabot. So Cabot is has is under construction on a four thousand square foot temporary right. fire station over by the ball field. They're planning. They had been planning to build a new fire station, but hadn't funded it yet. So once that's new, temporary building's done, then FEMA's going to work with them to fund their new building. And the mm. town, I think, will be responsible for twenty five percent. But I think uh. the cost is going to be pretty high because of the FEMA requirements in the building. So anyway, that's what I was told. So. Yeah. It's one of those two-edged swords. Yeah. So they were. So they were already in the process of building a new. No, no, they were in the planning oh, process. Oh. And FEMA's going to help with that, oh, but not with ours. They, so. Not with ours because we have funded it already. Oh. So this is where kind of that they call ours a complicated project. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was complicated. I'm like, well, because you, we were already complicated because mm. the old building, the new building, which is funded and permitted, mm. and then you throw VTRANS in the middle of it. Mm. So everything's a. Wow. So even though Cabot is a volunteer fire department, they're requiring them, That's what, with FEMA money, required to have yep. four sleeping quarters. Well, I don't know four, but they said something about having sleeping quarters. Like, yeah. Okay. I don't know mm -hmm. if that's true or not, but it yeah. wouldn't surprise me in a yeah. federal thing. Yeah. The federal stuff is really weird. They, they have their requirements and you will meet them. Uh, again, my experience getting federal money a lot of mm. times it drives your project costs mm. way up, so you don't always mm. end up. You always end up with a nice project, mm. but it's a lot more expensive than what you mm. probably otherwise mm. would have built. Mm. So I wouldn't take that to the bank, but that's what, what I was told. <laughs> yeah. Because I was frustrated. I expressed mm -hmm. my frustration to FEMA. I said, "Why are they so far down the road?" And mm her, -hmm. we, we barely had the lady here a couple of mm -hmm. times, you know, and that was the reason. Where mm -hmm. and their building was also condemned. Their fire trucks are parked all over town. Oh. Mm. Hmm. So it's one of those deals that would have been better to have it wrecked, you know, just leave it half wrecked. <laughs> That's we're sort of in that hmm. spot. So hmm. anyway, there we are. Okay. Well, thank you again. Yeah. I have less hair than I had before. Hmm? I have less hair than I had before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, any more questions from you? No questions. Want some calls? You know, not really. Come no, on. I don't know that I'm trained enough for that. Well, we can take care of that training. <laughs> Fourteen times one week. Oh times man, jeez. <clears throat> this is rescue calls both. or fire both together. Is it people like with clogged wood stoves, like clogged well, chimneys? There's a lot of that. There's there's a balance. I was asked the same question by someone else, and right now. The mental health crisis is causing a significant impact to mm. emergency services. Mm. And it morphs from medicals to fires. We had an individual that was having a mental health crisis, and then they decided to start launching fireworks inside mm. their apartment, mm. which created some issues. Mm. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Let's just say. Get all kinds of calls. Yeah. Mm. Oh. He's what? Are mm -hmm. so they trying to get you to join? We need I we need folks. Come on. Yeah. Make a great member. I don't know. I, I yeah, think I got my hands full of Paul right now. So I bet you could. 
<laughs> but that's what that's yeah. driving it. That the whole I work for Heart and Rescue and Three Small Fleet yeah. Ambulance, and it's, oh. it's a big issue. It's yeah. driving tremendously driving up everybody's call volume. It's Worse than drugs or both combined? Drug, well, you add the drugs, the mental health problems. Oh. It's, it's that's yeah. you know, a big problem. It's a big mm. problem. Mm -hmm. And there's no fix because they, you, the, we had the person hauled away and they recycle them right back. And then in a couple of weeks, they're having a mental health crisis. One individual was on the phone with 911 for 48 hours. Mm. Call 911, I'm gonna kill myself. Hang up the phone. We get dispatched. Mm. Lights are out. Leave. Oh man, this that, goes on. that sounds frustrating. I'm gonna shoot the neighbor. Mm. I'm gonna shoot myself. And, you know, it's just this is the shooting. And then we kind of get jammed in the middle because police. It's not illegal to commit suicide. So if you're just mm. in your apartment and want to kill yourself, that's it's America, man. Mm. But then they call EMS to go stand by. It's like, <sighs> what are we doing here? Oh, yeah. oh God. And then. If he's not getting enough attention, then you start launching <coughs> bottle rockets out your <sighs> dining room window mm, mm. or throwing firecrackers on the neighbor's porch. You have more patience than I do. <coughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. So that's what's going training. on. That's what's, that's what's driving it. That's what's driving I'm just shocked at the call. We're usually 115 calls. We're about to hit call 200. Good wow. Lord. It's, mm. Mm. That's in this calendar year? Yeah, in this calendar year. Mm. It seemed like July, and it was like someone flipped a switch in July. It's just wild. So when you, speaking of the town report, when you submit your um, budget, you'll have your fire chief's report and yes. all that stuff? That's yeah. always so nice how that comes Yeah, well, I will have it <laughs> finally submitted until uh, oh. January 1st because I won't oh, get all the Oh, okay. Calls in. All right. Oh, okay. That's yeah, right. You we'll need have to the have budget articles, and then I'll get the, I'll get the chief's report to okay. like the first week in January. Yeah, great. Okay. Well, thank you. I don't have the patience for that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't sound it. Yeah, leave me you alone. like working with people. Some people. <laughs> <laughs> so, Skip, so you want to tell me what's, what I don't know about the open meeting law? No, I'm not going to tell anyone. I'm not going to lecture anyone. However, uh, so you sent me an email saying that you were aware of the requirements for the five-day posting of mm -hmm. draft minutes, mm -hmm. and that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what draft minutes are all about. Mm -hmm. So you post mm -hmm. them. If there's anything wrong with the draft minutes, mm -hmm. they get corrected. And then tonight, mm -hmm. did you approve the meeting minutes from the November meeting? Okay, mm -hmm. so then they should be posted within a couple of days, I think. And I think so. if I remember to attach <laughs> Yes, please. So, please yeah, go. we give them to Rob, and Robin sends yeah. them to you, and you so, put them on no, the draft website. minutes are fine. That's what yeah. they're there for. You know, if they're incorrect, you know, someone yeah. who has been uh, misquoted or something mm -hmm. gives you a call and says, hey, I didn't say mm -hmm. that. They get corrected, mm -hmm. that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what draft minutes yeah. are for. However, that being said, Part of your email said that these are for you and not to be posted on the website. Well, the reason and I did those... That, can I finish? Please. Thanks. So, that is in direct conflict with the law. I know. And so I won't read you 1 VSA chapter 312, but it says they, sh they should be, they must be posted within five days on the town website. If the website is regularly updated. It is regular. I can attest to that that well, it's regular. Well, as far as I know, it's, uh, I don't have anything to do with updating it, so. Well, I can attest to that since I update it, oh. not only for the select board, but for mm -hmm. the planning commission, mm -hmm. conservation commission. Uh, so anyhow, it is updated. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this 1 VSA 312 compels you to post these on the town website. Mm -hmm. And, and you, it also tells you to do it within five days, right. which I can't always do. Well, then, Bad. You know, I won't say <laughs> what comes to mind, but, you know, within five days, you know, people might get grumbly. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a, a citizen of Woodbury's name, that this might placate him if they're uh, posted within five days. I won't give that <laughs> gentleman's name out, but, you know, you should try your best to try and get them done 
within five days and be in compliance with the law. That's all. The reason I yeah the reason I did that tried to get that out too. I was afraid. I thought maybe you needed it because of uh, something to having to do with appointing. Thank you. Bye. Appointing Danielle as the. No. You no, didn't. You just, didn't need anything on that. So that's why I did it because I thought you might need that. No, because you had. Yeah, you know, voted on it and voted in the affirmative that she would be yeah. able to work. I didn't know if you'd need anything in writing. Mm, no, it's on tape. Good. Okay. So, yeah. I, anyways, that's why I did that because I thought you might need something. But anyhow, for FEMA. so you're aware of the five-day requirement. I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's it on that. <laughs> Any questions? <sighs> Just a comment. Um, I know it's a ton of work, Diana, and if you want to split that load a little more evenly, I would be willing to help because um, I know that's a lot. So it's much easier when you guys have a scribe. When you what? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. I might have. I might have someone, an idea of someone for that. Yeah. Awesome. And when I was on the board, it was a challenge to get them out within five days. Mm -hmm. However. They were out. So. <laughs> Anyhow, moving on to FEMA. Yeah. So I spent a whole week this afternoon with FEMA. And uh, Michelle, you know, she's, she's very good. She's quite supportive of us. And today we worked on assigning projects to some of our, uh, some of our damage inventories. Mm -hmm. So if you can recall from our last uh, present, my last presentation, there were 62 individual damage mm -hmm. inventories. So today we assigned projects to 31 of those. Did she agree to combine some of them? We have. We Yay. combined 31 individual damage inventories into five projects. Mm. So that lessens the amount of paperwork that Danielle mm -hmm. and I have to produce. And so these projects, and this is only half, half of the projects for the town of Woodbury, the 75% figure that FEMA will reimburse is $131,948. That's as it stands today. What was that number again? Just the FEMA 75% of these projects that have, of these damage inventories that now have projects. That money totals $131,948. So you narrowed this down to five projects? No, no. Oh, were, we have so 31 more so damage inventories oh, okay. to, to put into projects. Oh, okay. However those projects might be arranged. What I tried to do today is the rail trail is one project because mm. that seemed like Great, that's you like know, eight things <clears throat> here. It seemed like the best utilization for all the work you guys have done mm -hmm. would be to put that into one project. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we lumped Old, Old Quarry Road, Blake Hill Road into one project. East Hill Road is one project. County Road minus the extension is mm -hmm. one project. Mm -hmm. And the Cabot Road Project 1 which is pretty interesting. I'll talk briefly about that. That's one project. Again, to the total of $131,948. And this represents completed work. Mm -hmm. All the work has been completed. So Danielle and I have until January 14th to compile all the essential elements of information mm -hmm send them along to FEMA, have them accept it, and then they can make out what they need, which is called a DDS. Oh. <laughs> and once they do the DDS design, I forget what that acronym means, they'll send that back to us for our signature to make sure that it encompasses everything that's on each individual project, or in, within each individual project. Those are for projects that are completed, right? All the work is completed except for county road extension. Yeah. And the bridges 
on yeah. Highway 23 we'll, and 24. We're going to talk to you about the <clears throat> town office also. Yeah, town office isn't done. You know, there are a couple of okay. the larger ones, the bridges on town highway, town highway 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. That's going to be challenging. Yeah. So what I found out today, and Paul's going to hate me when I send him an email, categories B and C, being B being temporary, temporary work, and C being permanent work. C categories, they will compensate you for regular time. In other words, no overtime. Or regular time plus overtime. However, category B work, they believe that that work should only be completed using overtime money. So they wouldn't pay anyone for using regular hours. It had to be all overtime hours. So I said, I said, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. I said, so you know, we had a discussion and Michelle called up her supervisor and I had a discussion with him. And he he said, Well, this is the way FEMA works. He said, change all your category B's, all the work that was done on a temporary slash emergency basis, change them from category B's to category C's, and you'll be fine. What? That sounds like the opposite. You say, you're saying that they wanted to, for temporary work, they thought it should be overtime? Temporary work, they'll only pay overtime labor. Yeah, because they, you know, yeah, I mean, it makes sense, it's an emergency and... Oh, that doesn't really make sense, but I understand. <laughs> that. yeah. I can kind of understand where they would come up with that, even though I don't think it yeah. makes sense. But permanent work, work, maybe they're thinking, you know, you do it when you get around to it. <laughs> well, and as Crazy. we explained to them, you know, that this temporary work was done by the road crew, and they were not doing their regular work. Mm -hmm. right. So their regular work got put aside mm -hmm. to do quote, emergency repairs mm -hmm. to make the roads at least passable. Mm -hmm. So police, fire, and EMS could get to folks. And that didn't work. So. Yeah, I mean, we were we were not fixing them in the way that we normally would. No. I mean, we were throwing things together. We were hustling. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know. And that's why we categorized them as, you know, temporary work, category B. We said, change them to category C, and we'll pay you. But not overtime? They didn't work overtime. See, that's that's the deal. There was no overtime oh. hours oh. used for any of these projects. Oh, okay. All right. I guess I did. They believe that all Category B labor should be overtime. I don't know why. You know, I just threw... So, like, in. you work 40 hours a week and then you do your emergency work? <laughs> I just right. threw my hands up and I said... Okay, no. as long as I don't go to jail, you know, I'll change these. And okay. I didn't change them. The FEMA representative today changed them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was sure that we have that distinction that I didn't change mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Does that cause any problems as far as like not being able to take something that was done as a temporary repair and now not being able to get money to make it a permanent repair because they'll have oh. already paid? So, case in point, say the Woodbury Hardwick Rail Trail. There are four different sections that Alfie and his crew worked on. Let's say, let's take section 4-4, the landslide. We had category B work and category C work. Category B work was for, say, $3,300. That's temporary stuff. Mm -hmm. Category C work, permanent stuff, was 2200 for a total of like $5,500. Now these guys are together, so we'll get compensated for the fifty-five hundred dollars. Gotcha, but it's just now all category C. C. Okay. Yeah. That makes so sense. anything that said category C is uh, category B is now all category C. I'm sorry, you said what? Anything all that B's was C's. all B's or C's. All B's or C's. Okay. However, yeah. their heads spun around a little bit with the town offices, which is a category E. <laughs> That's for equipment. Hmm. For category E also uh, it is for the uh, radar speed sign. That's a category E. Hmm. 
And then we had one category A for debris removal, and that caused a little commotion. So, huh. anyhow, we're getting through it. Uh, so Danielle and I will be working on these five projects, and then we have a meeting with Michelle from FEMA, not next week because she's in training, but the following week, to complete the projects for the remaining 31 uh, damage inventories. Mm. Wow. So I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably have another seven or eight projects, mm. and then we'll start working, see if we can get some, <laughs> see if we can get some money into wood bearing. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lenny. She said, Lenny's around. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Still with us. Wow. All right. Here's his report. We talked, about, we talked about the bridges a little bit, and you know, I indicated that these bridges are on loan from the state. Are they charging us for the bridges? No. She said the state is charging rent for some of the towns she works with huh. for temporary bridges. Uh -huh. They must really like you. Yeah. Uh, you got there first. Maybe. <laughs> I've done some business with them prior to here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's okay really? with the state for you to put railings on those bridges? That's a good question. Nobody asked the state. I believe the so. <laughs> the I state believe. doesn't have anything to do with it. I, I have to contact them uh, to find out the rating. So I'll ask them if they're okay with that too. Because so if they're not, what are you going to do for, bridge, uh, for a railing for her? Uh, Say, just close be, your eyes, Carol, and go across the bridge? No, <laughs> she's, our, she's on my case about that. Uh, she's saying that her plow guy won't plow oh, okay. because of it. And Did her old bridge have rounds? No. Not, not anything spectacular, no. If anything, it was maybe just there a two-way no floor. I, don't I was going to say, I don't remember a railing when I ran across the bridge. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, if I do put railings, it's not going to affect the integrity of the bridge at all. It's wood, and I'm going to put wooden rails, you know, just four by four, and lag bolt them to it, and then yeah, you they're really four. guide rails rather than guard exactly. rails. Exactly, that's right. Okay. So that's people right. can see It'll where they're be going and to lineate the the edge mm -hmm. of the bridge is mm -hmm. all it's really mm -hmm. going to be. Yeah, right. So. I was just but, asking yeah, since no, it wasn't will, our bridge. Right. I they will. might have some kind of requirement that. Hmm. Well, these bridges are designed for a skitter. So they they're don't not, have, don't skitters don't, don't usually need. Right, because sometimes their tires right. hang off the bridge. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I don't think that they're going to mind, but I will ask mm. them. I will make sure they're okay with it. Yeah. Uh, worst case, we buy the bridge. Yeah. You know, it's 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 I'm hearing the state pays five thousand dollars for the for the bridge to be built. So that's a bargain compared to half of that. Oh, that's yeah. a bargain. Yeah, that's yeah. A, for that five thousand for what? For for these bridge panels to be built. Oh. That's what that's that's what I've heard. So if, if So when the state buys they, them for skitter that's what they pay with Right. Them. But they're buying yeah. 15 of them yeah, at a time, yeah, right. right? So, yeah. uh, so mm -hmm. what I'm the only reason I'm saying that is if that if they think that we destroy the integrity of the bridge oh, yeah. by putting railings on yeah. there, we say, okay, we'll buy the bridge from you. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll we want to buy it anyway. Well, we'll have right. a bridge. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the case. No. But um, they've been really good. They've been very yeah. good to, to deal with. So. Um, but I will ask that question just to make sure. That Maybe they were just sort of running out of bridges at some point and started. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was timing. I yeah. think I called them right yeah. at the right time. Yeah. You know, because every, all the well, town of Greensboro wanted the bridge that we have on on Town Highway 24. Uh huh. They called. Yeah. They called uh -huh. the, that day. Uh -huh. Actually, the day yeah. that, and they had yeah. already given it to uh -huh. me. So. Oh, got lucky. I got really yeah. lucky on that. We one. all got yeah. lucky. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, but yeah, I will. I will reach out to them mm -hmm. and, and uh, get those questions answered. Mm -hmm. So.
So back to. So that's all I have skip. on today. The, have you seen this uh, uh, adjustment for the town office? It has a lot of prices in here about things that they. So I'm a little concerned that you've got this in here for $4,800 or $8,500. And um, there's a whole lot of other. I think they came up with a total of about $13,000, I think. And after depreciation, it was $10,000. Do you want to look at this and see? Nope. No? Because. Okay. And, and the reason why I don't, I'm not trying to be flippant yeah, or anything okay. like that, is that the damage inventory is just an estimate. Okay. So once the final numbers are in, oh, I want okay. to look at that for sure. All right. And adjust the damage inventory and the project, because mm -hmm. the town office is going to be a single project, mm -hmm. and adjust the uh, damage inventory accordingly, and then submit the project for X number of dollars, mm -hmm. and there'll be real dollars. They won't be mm -hmm. estimates. Because anything you do in a project, you have the estimated cost and then the actual cost. Mm -hmm. So the actual cost, I believe, may go up a little bit. I believe. Not a lot. Because some of the forms you just you just shake your head at. Huh. It almost compels you to have the actual amount go up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean this guy, I mean they they priced out painting the stair treads for number of dollars or cents per linear foot. <laughs> it was all really, really uh, detailed yeah. at some that's point that's here. A good estimate. Huh? Yeah. That's a good estimate. Yeah. Yeah, linear feet of sheetrock, seal and prime, interior door, paint the door, doorknob. Yeah. <laughs> Very detailed. But when it's all said and done, give me the figures. We'll see. <laughs> we have 18 months from Huh? July 14, All 2023. Right. So, I told the emergency management director he didn't have to bother to come if he didn't have anything to say. So, they did, we did, um, Robin sent in the, well, whatever the intent of people needed. Mm -hmm. And they got an email back that said something was back ordered or something was, was expected. So. Okay. Um, speaking of antennas, the, our truck radios were bothering, were not working well. Um, my guy finally came through <gasps> oh. and found that the antenna that is mounted on the building at the, on the top of the quarry, mm -hmm had failed. Oh. So that's why it was, that's why we weren't getting, we weren't transmitting. Hmm. So he's installed a new antenna. Oh. And things are much better. Great. He gave us a bill, and I'm assuming Brandy's got that in the, in the mix. It's in that file. Oh. How much is it? <laughs> didn't you sign off on it? Did well, I didn't memorize them all. So, <laughs> so it's almost $1,800. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, it was set, it, yeah, because we had budgeted a thousand. That's right. It was a little. It was seventeen hundred something. Nine. Don't keep that, Brandy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Communications one thousand seven hundred ninety-one dollars and seventy-three mm -hmm. cents. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that I can lie. Yeah. I'm pouty. We're over budget. <laughs> we actually <laughs> had that budget in. That's good. That's interesting. Hmm. So that's good. We don't have to buy you any new radios. Well, that was just the antenna. That was just the antenna. I'd still need to have him come back and check yeah. the rest of the radios. Mm -hmm. Most, I mean, that that's helped a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. at least now we can communicate okay. uh, back and forth. But mm -hmm. I still want him to come and just check and make sure that you know sometimes the antenna gets hit by a by a brush or wire gets loose. Well, mm -hmm. You know, all that. Flying granite. Flying <laughs> 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 but 
So do you have any dead spots in town right now where you still camp? Uh, yes. Yeah, there's still, well, there will always be those probably. Yeah. Um, it seems like when we put it on to the repeater, there's like a different setting on the radios. Oh. Ooh, which goes to the repeater. That helps a lot. You know, in some of those low spots where we can't we can't reach each other. Okay. But yes, much much better. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was very frustrating before. I mean, sometimes you could see the truck that you wanted to talk to, and you couldn't get through to them. So uh, oh. it's much better now. Okay. <laughs> oh no, we need to schedule. You need to get your calendar out. For what? We need budgeting, personnel policy. We need to schedule these dates because we have to move a select board meeting because we're not doing it on a Christmas. So we need some dates moved here. I believe, yeah, I wanted to hear from Chris before we decide on that, because I, I really don't know, he didn't really say why he wasn't going to be here tonight. Um, we well, don't have a whole lot of time to plan it. I know, and I suggested the, maybe the first and third Monday night in December. Would it make sense to That'd be next away? Monday night. Yeah. So every Monday would be yeah. minus Christmas. Yeah. Would it make sense to tentatively plan and just make you know make sure with him that he can attend? Okay. Just for yeah, because I'd rather have. Get it yeah, he's the one that has a little more difficulty with scheduling than yeah. I do, or you do somewhere around. Home. So here's a thought: How about a Tuesday when we're already at work? I was going to mention that. I was thinking about that too. Would sure. you prefer that? Because you're well, you're yeah, working, but I wouldn't have to. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't be okay. Double. Yeah. Okay. Tuesdays instead. Is that? Yeah, that works for me. for me. So we're doing the fifth, and what are we moving the select board meeting to? The twenty uh, fifth, Christmas. Monday is Christmas, so let's do it the uh, Wednesday Two. after Christmas. The twenty seventh. Yeah. Select board. Uh, I'm not totally sure I can do that. When is Christmas vacation? That like school week. vacation? The whole week is vacation? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I can do that then. Yes. If you send me these dates, I can post them on the website. Okay. So two Tuesdays? The second Tuesday and the third Tuesday? No, wait. So the 19th, so the 12th and the 19th we're doing for special for budgeting? 12th. Oh. What do we do? What do we say about the fifth? fifth? Okay. So the fifth. Come on. The, fifth the fifth is next Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. So the fifth and the nineteenth. So the fifth, we will do budgeting. Do you pretend budgeting? No. And you said the twelfth or the nineteenth. Is it the nineteenth? Well, we need three, right? Doing two, two budget the 15th meetings. 15th and the 19th. <coughs> and the uh, nice regular the meeting. Policy so that's like, <laughs> that's all of those days. And then the 27th for the regular meeting. Is that? We have a regular meeting on the 11th. Oh, geez. I just, I can't even, can't even estimate about the personnel policy because we still don't have a copy. And then I asked Chris again today mm -hmm. if he could dig it out. And there was like such a long time from. ago before the flood. I feel like no. maybe we should just start fresh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, good work. Huh? We all put comments in. I know like Alfie didn't really get a chance to comment, and then right, just exactly got, like, that's why. And these or, should all have we should all have a chance to comment. The one I have here on the top of my pile does not have a date on it. It has a whole bunch of comments or
blackouts by other people and I'm sorry can I step us back just to the dates I want to make sure I got it right so are we doing 12 5 is a budget meeting yeah 12 next 12 next is Tuesday. the budget meeting no is that right fifth, or no? no the 11th is a regular meeting select board meeting right so we're talking mm -hmm. about for budgeting two budgets yeah. a personnel so just for the special meetings not for the regular ones the fifth it's and 12, the 19th Tuesday, okay Tuesday the 5th and Tuesday the 19th. And are we doing a meeting on 12-12 also for a personal policy? And a personal policy? No. I'm just asking. I'm not. Um. Yeah. Maybe we won't have much to do at the 11th meeting. We can go over it. I don't know. You yeah. can make a really light agenda. Right. It seems to getting else. a lot easier. <laughs> not as many uh, emergencies. Look, it's not even 8 o'clock. <laughs> Brandy? Yes. Did you want me at one of these meetings to put a line item in for anticipated FEMA reimbursement? Yeah. Yeah, please. I think that'll be in FY25. Do we have any idea? Yeah, it probably would be. Yeah. Yeah. I can find. Um, they probably won't. They probably won't promise, but I can get a ballpark. Well, we might get mm -hmm. this this a year. policy because it's a two-stage process. Mm -hmm. Whoever approves it then sends it to the state, and we or the town of Woodbury signs well, this isn't some Woodbury grant room. agreement with mm -hmm. the state, and then. Room? So. The state actually, well, no. Department of Public Safety, controls the funds. Hmm. So the, the funds will flow here. from FEMA to the state, Department of Public Safety, mm -hmm. then to the town. Mm -hmm. similar, to, yeah. similar to the opera mm -hmm. thing? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know. Let's so continue. one of those, I'd like Alfie at. Mm -hmm. One of those Tuesdays, if possible. When you're ready. Um, you not unless we sit down, you're able to pop in, and you and I go through. But yeah, all of those, I want all of, all of the, the grants have to be on there. Yeah. And all these little, like, how much are you going to spend on uh, greater blades and... Go oh yeah, going through it. Yeah, the whole yeah. highway budget. But it's the grants that I want in and out, revenue and expenses. So it's not guessing. Yeah. So it's very clear because we have a lot of projects coming up in the summer. Mm. This summer. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Like outside services. Well, we had budgeted, I think, ten thousand. Yeah, we had budgeted for some for the road up. up the Equipment, but there yeah, should be a be huge amount. Where would all that money that we're spending on that excavator be on here? It's in FEMA. Oh, so it's not in the regular budget? No. 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 On your due to do from that hundred sixty two thousand is where it is. It's all, huh? Wow. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be just part of the budget. Uh -huh. That's good. So So we're all going to need a vacation in January. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be doing your town report then. So I did want to make another adjustment to the agenda. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I have it going through my <laughs> my intestines. <laughs> you should do it when I lay down. <laughs> to add under the uh, 
executive session. I wanted to add something under one VSA 313A1B labor relations agreements with employees. I think that I think under that you can just talk about employee issues. I wanted to ask Brandy to stay for that. Today? Yeah. Okay, sure. let's wrap this up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm sorry about the personnel policy. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a question about your executive sessions. I've noticed when I post your meeting minutes that the last several meetings you've not gone into executive session. So the previous meetings that you've gone into executive session, you should give a report of what was the final outcome of that executive there session. There was a decision. Pardon? If there was a decision made, but well, there wasn't any action taken, and th th there's nothing to report. Well, you should say that. Then. Okay. Because. Anyway. Yeah, sometimes I do say that. Just no action was taken. Right. But you you don't have to report individual executive sessions. However, when you stop. The executive session for whatever purpose you're initiating it again you should give a report and i can send you that statute if you wish a report from each you mean executive just say session? that at no. 8 35 we entered executive session and at 8 45 we left you know you, you could do that if you wanted but what when you, you say, say if you're talking about labor relations yeah okay and you finish that topic an executive session. Yeah. How many how many sessions it takes? Okay, say if it takes five sessions, then you come to a decision or not. Mm -hmm. You should report what that decision yeah. was mm -hmm. or that you didn't mm -hmm. make a decision. Mm -hmm. Well that way I can go back to the minutes and if it was a raise or if it was that they're in the minutes. Yeah, well, well yeah, if we do I do if we make a decision I do put it in the minutes. Quite often we just talk about things that we don't know what to do with. So. Yeah. Well, you can say that too. Yeah. Okay. We threw up our hands again. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Do we? Yeah. Are we skipping the town office building oh, and stuff? Geez. Chris yeah. isn't here. Should we wait for yeah, him? I guess. I mean, it keeps getting punted down the road, but I think um, making slow progress. Yeah, okay. I mean, you we know, have a list. well, you have huh? a list of items that we'd like to do. Yeah, that's so true. That's mm -hmm. more than we had last time. That's true, and I have a, I even, this is why I thought we should yeah. have somebody to be like the night, manager. Guys. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you both. You Thank you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> because there are so many moving parts here. Here's my list. Oh, okay, you <laughs> yeah. There are just so many different contractors and so many different, you know, you do your sheetrock and then you do your painting and then you do your heating system and then you, do, you need a plumber to do the pressure tank and there's just so much. But I know you didn't like the idea of hiring somebody. But I just I think in that space it's not that complicated. I don't, I don't feel like we need to hire someone for that. My guys well, I was thinking we could reach out to try to find someone and then okay. maybe offer to pay them a little bit if they were willing to do it but i feel better about taking volunteer advice but um and honestly i'm pretty comfortable filling that role if that's you okay. know helpful all right well that's, okay that's good then have a good night you, i'm sure you're used to managing you, Bye. have a good night yes you too <laughs> I can take these back to the office when we sign. Thank you. Okay. So, you have it officially in. Oh, yeah, so we're going to enter the, yeah, we're going to. Um, I'm just waiting to hear that. <laughs> I'll make a motion and we enter the executive session. I'll second it. Thank you. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. <laughs>